The Sutton Hoo project is a pretty major experimental archaeology project to reconstruct the remains of the 7th century ship burial that was found at Sutton Hoo in East Anglia. As documented in the Netflix, The Dig, it has this really incredible burial of rich treasures that this person was buried with 1400 years ago. But they were buried in a massive ship. It's sort of 27 metres in length. Archaeologically, it's an amazing site. The project now in Woodbridge has started to do a full-size one-to-one reconstruction of the ship to really understand what it was for, whether or not it was just the king's sort of private water taxi, or if it was used as a warship, or if it could have been used for trading. My sort of remit has been to provide the maritime archaeological input, but also undertake a sort of a review of the evidence that was available from all of the publications about the dig and about the site and about the ship. And we did that through state-of-the-art approaches to three-dimensional reconstruction and digital modelling. A lot of the modelling work is all about answering difficult, potentially tricky questions before we get to them. So we can model all 3,600 nails and we know the three-dimensional points for them from the excavations and then we can reconstruct the planks that run through them and the keels and the rowing benches and all the parts of the ship basically and understand exactly how heavy it was, how much effort it would have required to move it through the water so that when we build the ship lots of those questions have been answered. For example the ship has probably got about five tonnes of capacity on it that nobody ever knew about. If we can make the general public more interested in the past, they're more likely to say, well, we better look after it and save it and protect it. It's a massively exciting project and a sort of a privilege that it's happening at this point in time and I can be involved in it. I really liked it. It's the best publicity ever, isn't it? So I think I would give it a, a thumbs up.